this is uh, Unit 5, Lesson 2, uh, Section 6.4, page 357, uh, and this is Number Sequences. where we have a percent of our base is the amount. And we know that of means times. And also is means equal. So if we have 20% of 300, is uh, what value? Then we can plug that into our equation. And we would convert 20% to 20 over 100 times 300 is means equals what? So we would make that equal to x. So a couple of different ways we can do this. Uh, one way is where we can take 20 divided by 100 is 0.2. Now, if you have 20, you have to use 100. If it's, um, well, we're talking about percentage here, so this is 20 over 100 times. Now, because we already have a decimal point, better to use parentheses. 300 equals 2x. And so, 0.2 times 300, that would be 60. And that's our answer. So we're saying 20% of 300 is 60. Now this next problem, we have 0 0.0. Uh, Actually, let's just leave the 0 off. We'll just work with point. 0.65% of 3.27 is what? Value. Okay, so again we'll make this into point, whatever we have in the numerator, that's, that's what we have for our percentage, that's what we put in the numerator, point zero six five over 100 times we'll just use parentheses 327 is equal to what value? So when we divide 100 into point zero six five, what happens is we get that decimal point moves over two places so now we get point zero zero six five zero point zero 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 six five times three twenty seven equals two x. So let's see what that looks like on the calculator.
21255. our model again. Percent times our base. That's what we have here. Our base equals to our amount. Okay, so our percent. We don't know what that is. So that's going to be Times our base, which is 20. Is means equals, right? 90. So we can rewrite this and say that this is 20x over 100 equals to 90. And say, all right, we can simplify this. 20 goes in 100 five times. 20 goes in itself once. So we've got one-fifth x equals 290. And now we solve for x. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, or we can just multiply five. So the fives cancel. And we get x equals 290 times 5. Well, let's see. 9 times 5, that's 45, right? So 90 times 5 is going to be 450. But because we're looking for a percent, right? There's no percent. We have to have that percent sign. So that's 450 percent. 